Hey. Hey. Listen, can we talk? Rory! No, shut up. I just got a question, that's all. Look out there. Yeah, fine, no problem. What are you doing? Helping the doctor? Um, it's humming. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. We're just entering conceptual space. Imagine a banana or anything curved. Actually, don't, because it's not curved or like a banana. Forget the banana. Uh, is he helping you fly the TARDIS? Um, attach thermocouplings to seven and eleven, like I showed you. How come he gets to go? He never let me have a go. Uh, doctor, don't. Seriously, I let her drive my car once. Yeah, to the end of the road. Yeah, where, according to Amy, there was an unexpected house. Oh, he's jealous because I passed my test first time. You cheated. You wore a skirt. I didn't wear a skirt. Well, that would have worked too. No, no, I did wear a skirt, but it was any old skirt. You ever seen any drive, Doctor? No! Neither did her driving examiner. Actually, it was this one. It was this skirt. <laughs> Thermocoupling! Sorry. Ah, how did you do that? I told you, don't drop them. I specifically mentioned not dropping. It, it was my fault. Of course it wasn't your fault. It kind, kind of was her fault. How could it be her fault? Because it was my skirt and my husband and your glass floor. Oh, Rory! Sorry. Well, we've landed. It's emergency materialisation. It should be fine. Should have locked off the safe space available. Available, the TARDIS has materialized inside itself. Is that supposed to happen? Take a guess. No. That's the one. Well, what are you doing? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, okay, that is a bit weird. <laughs> that is actually pretty cool. Oh, I'm glad you're entertained. Now that we're stuck here for eternity, at least you won't be bored. Wait, what, we're stuck? The inside of the TARDIS is now joined to the outside of the TARDIS, worse than a time loop, a space loop. Nothing can enter or leave this ship ever again. OK, kids, this is where it gets complicated. exterior shell of the TARDIS has drifted forwards in time. If you step into the box now, you step inside the control room a tiny bit into the past. I don't understand. Neither do I. But you just said it. No, I'm just repeating it. I'm just remembering what I heard myself saying when I was standing where you are now and repeating it. I'm just repeating this too. And this. And this. Uh, I still don't understand. You still don't. Okay, when does this Amy step inside the box? We need to maintain a timeline. Ah, as soon as she slapped Rory. Okay. <laughs> No. Why do I get slapped? Because we have to stick to the established chain of events. One mistake and the whole timeline could collapse. We'll end up with two Amy Ponds forever. And then what would you do? <laughs> OK, you. Into the police box now. Well, uh, and then I become her. Yes, go, go, go! Do I really look like that? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Mm. I'd give you a driving licence. Mm, I bet you would. Oh. This is how it all ends. Pond flirting with herself, true love at last. Oh, sorry, Rory. Absolutely no problem at all. Now, Amy! What's the first line? OK, kids, this is where it gets complicated. Gotcha. So, is that it? Are you OK now? No, we're still trapped. 
What are you doing? You told us to get to the police box. Well, from your point of view, you're about to tell us to get to the police box. From our point of view, you just told us to get into the police box, which is why we got in the police box, which is why we're here. Do I have to remember all of that? Yeah, it just sort of happens. Hi. Hi. Hey, stop that. You two in the police box now. Run. So, what now? You two, stay where you are. What are you doing? I'm setting up a controlled temple implosion. It's the only way to reset the TARDIS, but unless I find exactly the right lever to control the implosion, we're all going to die. You don't know which lever. No. But I'm about to find out. The Wibbly lever! The Wibbly lever! Thank you! We're back in normal flight. The TARDIS is no longer inside itself. The localised time field is no longer about to implode and rip a hole in all causality. But just in case... Pond, put some trousers on. Here, he's speaking. Uh, sorry, the Prince of Ware. Which one? No, no, no. Which prince? Not which Wales. Um, what year is this? I think that's probably for me. Hold this. Hello. Ah, yes. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Well, exactly. Why should you be worrying? Who even mentioned worrying? She's fine. Look, your mum is... Your mum is fine. Don't answer this phone. I answer this phone. Where have you been? Party. Just a party. Um, yes, your mum is here, actually, but she can't come to the phone at the moment. Well, she's busy. Well, you know, the Commonwealth. It's your son. Mum, he wants to talk to you. Oh, we can't let him see you like this. Well, hear you. Not that he could hear you. You're a fish. Sorry, I've got another call coming in. Hello? There is not a bit of use yelling, Ambassador. Your warrior chief is trapped in my TARDIS. And until you've turned Her Majesty here back into a human being, he's staying put. Don't worry, he's perfectly safe. Just popping you on hold. What have you done? I thought it was a fly. So much for the slaughter of ten billion souls. What is going on? I was at a party. There was a slight incident. Wait, what, what, so you sneak out at night to parties? Hang on, you're dressed up. You never dressed oh. up. It was River at the party. Oh, why would she be there? Don't, just don't lie to me, Doctor. You're rubbish at it. Look, I do not sneak out at night to parties with, with, with River Song. Hmm, where is she? Fine. See, rubbish. <sighs> Look, sorry, but I am in the middle of a thing. Doctor. Doctor. Look, I, I need to talk to you. There was a reason that I couldn't sleep. Rory! What are you doing? You've got the serious face on. I always shout for Rory when you've got the serious face. Rory, she's having an emotion! What? What's wrong, Amy? Why aren't you calling him? It's his turn. You two have... You do have turf. No! It's the wrong fish. I've taken the wrong fish. River, we've got the wrong fish. Uh, look, sorry, you two. I've made a mistake. I've got three hours to save the Commonwealth. What happens in three hours? The pet shop's open. Do, do 
this every night? Oh, hello. You're trying to conceal a euphonium. Guiltily, has that ever been attempted before? What? Oh, this. Oh, yeah, it's just one of those, um, euphoniums. Okay, so is this what you do at night when we're sleeping? Have extra adventures? I don't sleep as much as you. I keep busy. Doing what? And actually tell me for once. You're my friend. My best friend, so tell me what it is you do. I just helped out a possessed orchestra on a moon base. Before that, I prevented two supernovas, wrote a history of the universe, all in jokes, and did a bit of locum work in Brixton. Lovely practice, very short-staffed. What's wrong? We're all such tiny parts of your life, aren't we? All the friends you make just flicker in and out. You must hardly notice us. Hey, mate. You are enormous parts of my life. And you are all I ever remember. Speaking of which... My life doesn't make any sense. I know. That's what I've been trying to talk to you about. I know. Like... When I, when I first met you, I didn't have parents. I never had parents. And then you did whatever it was you did and rebooted the universe and, and suddenly I had parents. And I've always had parents. And I remember both lives in my head, both of them in my head at the same time. And it's fine, isn't it? Yeah, but it shouldn't be. Why is it fine? Roy was a Roman for 2,000 years. He says he hardly remembers it. Ah, but sometimes you can't keep just staring. The thing is, Amy, everyone's memory is a mess. Life is a mess. Everyone's got memories of a holiday they couldn't have been on or a party they never went to or met someone for the first time and felt like they've known them all their lives. Time is being rewritten all around us, every day. People think their memories are bad, but their memories are fine. The past is really like that. That's ridiculous. Ah, now you're starting to get it. Put your hand here. What is it? Tardis telepathic circuits. What do I do? Nothing. Just relax. Your saddest ever memory was at a fairground in 1994. Can you remember why? No. Hang on, did I? Did I drop in an ice cream? That can't be my saddest memory. Remembering ice cream is always sad. Did we just land? Huh. Where are we? What happened after you dropped the ice cream? Nothing. I, I cried. No. No, hang on, there was a lady and she bought me another one. No, oh, good for her. What did she look like? She looked like she... She had a funny dress, a night dress. <laughs> she had red hair. Doctor. I don't understand. Why are you doing this? What is the point? The nice lady. What did she say to you? Cheer up. Have an ice cream. Amy, time and space is never, ever going to make any kind of sense. A long time ago, you got the best possible advice on how to deal with that. So, I suggest you go and give it. Okay, okay, so I ask you a big, important question about life, and you're basically telling me to go and buy myself an ice cream. No, Amy, I'm telling you to go and buy us both ice creams. I love fairgrounds. I hate you. No, you don't. Do you get scared on ghost trains? I get a bit scared, so is it okay if I hold your hand? 